Let's continue with Chapter 4, Section 4.4 .4, Polynomial and Rational Inequalities. Let's talk over the step by step solution to solve polynomial inequalities. Step 1 Write the inequality so that a polynomial expression f is on the left side and 0 is on the right side. Step 2 Determine the real zeros, x intercepts of the graph of f. Step 3. Use the zeros found in Step 2 to divide the real number line into intervals. Step 4. Select a number in each interval. Evaluate f at the number and determine whether f is positive or negative. If f is positive, all values of x in the interval are positive. If f is negative, all values of x in the interval are negative. Let's do this example following the steps. Step 1. Make equal to 0. Remember, we need it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. We're going to need a common denominator, and that will be x plus 2. Now we want to simplify. Let's continue simplifying by collecting like terms on the top. This is step one. Step two, find zeros. So what we're going to do is figure out the zero in the numerator and the denominator. Place zeros on a real number line. So we had negative 8 and negative 2. Now we need to remember about negative 2. It cannot equal negative 2, so we have the open circle. Determine where the equation is true or false. So what we're going to do is figure out when x equals something in here. So we'll just say, how about negative 10? We're going to pick a point that's between negative 8 and negative 2. How about x equals negative 4? And then something to the right of negative 2. So let's do x equals 0. These can be anything that lie in that region. For this part, we are going to use the simplified equation. So I'm going to put negative 10 in here. Now we don't actually care what the number is, we just want to know if it's greater than 0 or less than 0. So the top, we're going to end up with a positive number. The bottom, we're going to end up with a negative number. So a negative number is not greater than 0, so this is not going to be part of our solution. Let's try the next one. So we'll end up with a negative on the top, 
and a negative on the bottom, which turns out to be a positive. And a positive number, a positive number is always greater than zero. So this is part of our solution. And finally, let's do x equals zero. Since we have a negative over a positive, a negative is not greater than zero, so this is not part of our solution. So now we know that our solution is between negative eight and negative two, and this is what our solution set would be. It's going to include negative eight, because we have include here, but it's not gonna include negative two, because remember, negative two can't be in the denominator. Let's solve graphically. We did this in section 3.5, so I'm just gonna do a quick review. Here's my standard viewing window, and remember what we did was, we did x minus four divided by x plus two, and then we also did x into our y1 and y2. Now you can change these settings so that it shows the shading, and so I just look at it freehand, so to speak. What I did was zoom in, and here's my window that I used. Remember, at negative two, we have an asymptote, a vertical asymptote, and then here's our negative eight, because as you see, my x, whoops, my x scaling is two. So this is negative two, negative four, negative six, and then here's negative eight. And it's gonna include negative eight, remember, because we have greater than or equal to. And I just wanted to show you that here is our y equals two, that this graph is gonna get really, really, really close to two, but it's never going to get to it or cross it. So this shows us the solution set for the inequality is x such that negative eight is less than or equal to x is less than negative two. I have a couple here for you to try. I want you to solve this algebraically. So press pause now, solve it, and then play to see the solution. Here is another one for you to solve. Once again, solve algebraically. And here is the solution. Now up here, when we simplify, if we can simplify all the way to a very easy inequality, you want to do that. The ones we had done before don't solve this nice. Okay, we always had a fraction in there. So for our step two, it's just x equals two. So here's our x equals two. Since it's just less than, it's not less than or equal to, that is why we have an open circle. And then we tested it, so we took when x equals zero, and we have a yes. We could test up here at, oh, let's say x equals five, but when we put it in here, is five less than two? No, so that's how I knew to solve or to shade this way. And then of course here is our solution, x such that x is less than two. And this is it for section 4.4. You're ready to start the homework. If you do have any problems, just call or send me an email.